hello, everybody. Um, this is not the Iowan Adventures, which is what I was about to say. This is the Moonstone Matriarchy. I'm I Sneeze Stars. My people name is Jessica. You can find me online in places like TikTok and Instagram. Really quickly, I'm going to run you through the games that we have on our channel, and then I'm going to let everyone introduce themselves and what who they're playing tonight. Um, so Monday nights uh, is the Iowan Adventures at 7.30 p.m. EST. That's the game that I DM. Um, Tuesday nights, we have State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign DM'd by um, Coddlesworth at 7.30 p.m. EST. I hope, I don't remember if I said that because I talk a lot, but also... Katie is in it as well. Uh, Thursday nights, we have you? the Lost Continent. I, I am also in that game. And so is our tech that's doing this right yeah. now. Um, Thursday night, we have the Lost Continent at 9 p.m. EST, which is GM'd by Mr. Markham. Uh, Friday nights, we have the Legends of Kralis, a um, TTRPG created and GM'd by Talarius Game Masters. And some... Sundays, we have uh, Rumors of Magic, GM'd by our very own Mazrix24, uh, who is also in my Monday game. Uh, I think that's it. Follow our Discord, follow our YouTube. I don't know. Uh, Katie, you know the drill. I do. Hi, um, I'm Dunder Mrs. Katie on all the platforms, uh, mostly TikTok, a little bit on Instagram. Depends on the day. Um, and tonight I'm playing Rosalind Alana. Um, she is an elf rogue and she, I'm just really excited to get a new campaign going. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Jennifer, go. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Uh, tonight I'm playing Clover, who is a, uh, house cat tabaxi and she's a cleric. Um, you can find me on TikTok as Linen and Spice, um, uh, from their link tree and bio, you know, the drill. Um, I'm also in Blue Sky a bit. Yeah, um, I shall hand over to Star. Hi, I'm Star. I am a podcaster. I have a podcast called Characters Without Stories, where I talk to people about characters they haven't had a chance to play yet. And you can find me as Star Mama C on TikTok. That's where I do most of my social, but I'm also at characterswithoutstories.com. You can see all of my stuff there. And I am going to pass it to Scarlett. Hi, I'm Scarlet64 here on Twitch, uh, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, and the Scarlet DM on YouTube. And I will be playing uh, Sin, the High Elf Warlock. And I'm super excited to be a cute little edgelord. Um, had... And then have you gone yet? <laughs> no. Okay, I pass it on to you. Thank you so much. Hi, everybody. My name is Nadine. You can call me GM of Revan or N. You can find me on Twitch, YouTube, and Incarnate as GM of Revan. I make a lot of maps. I do some games where I dungeon master, and I'm here to have fun with all the ladies in an amazing game led by Sneeze. So I'm so happy. And I believe our last is Meg. Right? Yeah. So I am Megs or Mommy Kelly. I go by Megs or Mommy. I'll be playing Delpha as a Eldrin Dward. Uh, Dward. Druid. I'll be okay. Uh, and you really can't find me anywhere on any social media. So good luck. She's antisocial, <laughs> but we love her. I didn't uh, introduce my character. Oh my God. Well, go I'm for playing it. I'm playing Cappy, who is a Heron Gone Wild Magic Sorcerer. I'm so excited. I've never DM'd for um like Heron Gone or uh or Tabaxi before. So this is going to be interesting for me learning these characters, learning these classes. Um races? A derp. So uh as we begin, I have like an epigraph for the game, which is mainly it's just a little little I don't know limerick or piece of poetry that I created uh, and it says under the moon's gentle gaze heroes rise bound by destiny beneath starlit skies in the realm where shadows dance and secrets gleam their past un their path unfolds guided by Luna's dream and well, I guess we'll get into it 
as I scroll all the way down. Oh, I had notes for myself. Okay, cool. So our story begins in Salandria, a city of light that glimmers with radiant, radiant beauty built on a series of gentle sloping hills that overlook the sea. Salandria is renowned for its shining architecture made from white marble and gold accents, which reflect the sun and moon's light, giving the entire city a warm golden glow. Salandria's streets are lined with lush gardens and with lush gardens and ornate fountains, creating an atmosphere of peace and serenity. The people of Salandria are known for their kindness, wisdom, and reverence, for the arts and for healing magic. The city's layout is centered around a grand palace where a benevolent monarch resides, but this is not that the story of that monarch. This is the story of six strong and brave women, the Lunar Sisters, and their quest to retrieve a stolen treasured artifact of the city, the Moonstone. We focus now on the Grand Temple of Salandria, a majestic structure adorned with intricate moon-shaped carvings, stained glass windows depicting lunar phases, and the ethereal glow emanating from within it, surrounding, surrounded by the serene gardens and reflecting pools that mirror the moon's radiance, we meet our heroines. So, who would like to introduce their character first? Anyone? Anyone? Did we roll for it? Uh, roll me <laughs> d6. Someone. <laughs> one. One. Who is the first one? The first one is Sin. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sin is a tall and gaunt high elf with very, very pale, almost gray skin and uh, long hair that is jet black at the roots and fades ombre into like white. Uh, half her head is shaved and she uses her big long swoop of hair to kind of like cover half her face. Uh, she wears uh, globs of black eyeliner, presumably to hide the devastating bags under her eyes uh, from lack of sleep. And uh, she's going to be kind of in the garden, or I guess in the courtyard of the temple, staring up at the night sky. Uh, is the moon visible right now? It is, yes. She'll be kind of staring at the moon with a very like pained expression as she kind of just like rubs her fingers over her knuckles. Uh, she looks like she could cry, but she doesn't though. There are like runny, like wet. Her looks like her mascara is permanently running. Um, and she's just going to be standing there muttering like a prayer under her breath. And yeah, that's, that's that's not out of pocket for sin. She's usually pretty moody and usually staring up at the sky in a very edgy kind of way. She's emo and we love it. Um, what prayer do you think you're saying? What who do you think you are praying to right now? She is looking up at the moon in a longing kind of way. Almost like she's longing to be seen for help and for relief. She needs relief so bad. Can you roll me first roll of the game uh -oh. religion check? Uh, let me see what my how good my religion is. Uh oh god. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. You feel a gentle caress on your cheek, but there's no one there. And it's gone. She'll, she'll stay silent and kind of like, I'm never washing this cheek. Never again. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then you hear 
just in the back of your mind. That's very dramatic, wasn't it? Do I recognize the voice? You do recognize the voice. Am I happy to hear this voice? I mean, that depends on your relationship with your uh, patron. Oh, shit. Um, I'm going to get nervous because can you wait until we're not in the Temple of Luna? Does not respond. Oh, crap. I need to go. I need to go. I need Do you to want to walk into the temple? No, not until I, I, I wanted to. And now I don't. <laughs> now I'm just uh, going to sit outside and just wait to see what happens see who's around how where my sisters are you so you pop a squat on like one of the benches that are there around the i'm not even sitting on the bench i'm standing and squatting on the bench fully pop a squat like not (laughs) even okay cool uh i'm I'm an all black (laughs) (laughs) the most dramatic (laughs) the most dramatic little gargoyle okay um (laughs) clover as you, uh, you've been summoned to the temple, and as you arrive, you do manage to spot this little gargoyle sitting there. Uh, what, can you introduce Clover and tell us about her? Uh, abs- absolutely. Uh, do we all know each other already, do we? You do. You do. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so Clover um, arrives into the garden where Sin is, uh, you see a a small house cat. Uh, she looks. Um, uh, she her fur is tortoise shell. She's a very small, delicate cat, um, and the way she walks is um, she walks very delicately, um, and she just she comes up to Sin, seeing that you're. Um, squatting on the bench there and she hops up on the bench next to you and says are you okay then we'll offer a little finger for scritchies i don't know if clover likes okay clover <laughs> likes <scritchies. Yes. laughs> uh, she'll just kind of be like of course little one she likes you a lot because she loves cats <laughs> <laughs> She'll just be like, nothing to worry about. Scoot, 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 scoot. Clover will just um, rub her head on Sin's hand so, and not respond, but give her comfort through body language. So we have a beautiful little tortie with a model walk. I love it so much. <laughs> That's all I can think of right now, just to like... We need some fan art chat. We need fan art immediately. (laughs) (laughs) You two remain outside, Clover giving Sin comfort, and the next person begins to arrive. And we come to Rosalind. So Rosalind is a tall and slender Aladrin elf with pale skin and stark white hair. Um, she often has it tied up off of her neck because she can't be bothered to look pretty when she's just annoyed all the time. Um, she, if you were, to, if you were to get close enough to see, her eyes are gray, but they kind of have this weird sheen of lavender if you're at the right angle. And her garb is starlight, and she wears a single moonstone around her neck at all times. Um, When you see her, she has sort of a vacant, slightly sad expression on her face, and she is very quiet. God, my little party of emos. I was about to say, I feel like I would scooch (laughs) just a little bit to give my emo sister a spot on the bench. (laughs) Oh, it's so dramatic. I, I love this so much. She does. She'll sit down on the bench. Do you say anything or do you just mope together? (laughs) <laughs> uh we didn't plan any of this together guys I so 100%. <laughs> no i was like listening to you talk about it. i'm like oh crap just don't have white hair don't have white hair don't have white hair i'm, I'm half, half, half. dude yeah you're, you're okay. good look we're starting a band okay obviously <laughs> oh it's a great band <laughs> take your best release 2000 emo kid 
We All call right. it new moon. Um, <laughs> I will make room for you on the bench. Sounds good. Um, <laughs> Rosalind will sit down and sort of incline her head and say, hello, sisters, and offer scritches to Clover. Clover happily accepts those scritches, also giving you body language comfort because she can see the expression on your face as well. Um, she kind of alternates between the two of you, kind of rubbing herself <laughs> up against both of you. Can yeah. I can I do an insight on Ross? Is this typical like Rosalind behavior, the kind of broody moody, or is something amiss? You can roll insight. Yeah. Do you or... want to try and roll deception, or are you going to just let her see what she sees? No. Okay. Um. Ugh, fourteen or no? Yeah, fourteen. I just want to. I'm like doing a wellness check, vibe check. Um, she's a little more sad than usual. Nothing, nothing crazy. Nothing, you know, nothing specific happened. But she's definitely a little sadder today. Oh, I'm alive and I hate it. Yes, I'll yeah. I'll make an effort to lighten up the mood, even though my facial expression is still very sour. I'll just be like, "Moon is beautiful tonight." Don't you think? Do we know what phase the moon is in? The phase is... I had this. Hang on. You do. That is a good question. Mm. In my head, it was full, but I didn't think to ask. I almost always just assume the moon is full at all times in like these (laughs) worlds that I live in. That is a dangerous (laughs) assumption, my dear sister. I know. Oh, you guys are actually... You are in the, what is this? The waxing crescent. Oh, so it's getting full. Oh, the waning crescent. No, Sorry, it's the, not. It's no. getting full. I'm blind. Hang on. Hang on. I'm blind. Waxing crescent. No, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. It's oh, it's turning into better. the new moon. Oh, it's turning into the new moon. Yeah. So it's waning. It's getting skinnier. Is that it? I thought it goes like clock rise. This is waxing. Waxing and then it would be moon, getting, getting and then waning. Small. So it waxes to the full moon and then it wanes to the new moon. I wrote a whole game on this. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Whatever it is. If it's approaching the new moon, if yeah. It's the moon, cool. Yeah, we're yeah. on we're you're close to the new moon. Oh. Where there will be no moon in the sky. <laughs> Which is a dangerous time for you, Sid. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Uh, Cappy. Um, so Cappy is here to change the vibe entirely. Uh, um, Cappy is a four foot tall white magician's rabbit with uh, perked up ears, very soft fur and large brown eyes. Um, she does not have human hands like a heron gone. She is just kind of a rabbit. Um, and she hops over very awkwardly, not, does not seem used to this body, um, wears very colorful kind of rainbow colored robes and, and hops over. <gasps> oh, guys. Oh, so good to see you. How are you? How are you? And I reach down and like the little kitty. How is everyone? The She's out of curiosity. How gone soon? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was just so wondering how big you, how big your rabbit is. Are they rabbit sized or no? Large? No, four four foot tall, four foot tall rabbit, four foot tall bunny. Okay, the Easter yeah. bunny. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you scare yeah. small children on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> It's a gig, you know, you got to make yeah. money somehow. Parents <laughs> pay you to terrorize their children. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. It's a beautiful Does anyone night. Respond? My sister seems sad. Oh, is there anything I could do? I, I... You could just sit here with us. Of course, of course. Would you like to pet my fur? It's very soft. Yeah. Yes. I'll I'll <laughs> kind of 
sit in between you, but like on the ground in front of you and just kind of, you know, put it's my just a ears cuddle puddle. down. Yeah. It is becoming a cuddle puddle. That's what yeah. I was thinking. Oh, Weird. this is great. <laughs> perfect. We have, we have a sunshine girl too. Like, ah, <laughs> oh, sunshine bunny. <laughs> Emo sisters and the sunshine bunny and cat. Love keep it. Telling we you love. guys, we need to just practice our harmonizations. We'll be the best band in all of Slandria. Yeah. I I don't know if I'm much of a singer. Maybe I can be the roadie. <laughs> I can sing you the song of my people. And then Koiva <laughs> starts yowling. <laughs> yup. Oh, that's so beautiful, that's so Clover. beautiful, Clover. <laughs> thank you. It's really not, but thank you. <laughs> Rosalind's oh my going God. to close her eyes. A, and a single tear. <laughs> the feral pain of womanhood being thrust into the empty skies beneath <laughs> the waning moon. Exactly what I was going for, Sin. You appreciate my art. Thank you. You're Go welcome. Far. <laughs> uh, Clover like curls Del- up in your lap. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. Uh, Delphra. Delphra? Am I saying this right? You are. Um, so Delphra is about, give or take, five, six. Uh, she has like very lumescent um grayish skin and blue silver hair that just goes about to her shoulder as perfectly braided um she also has uh it's kind of like olive green uh studded leather armor going on and she's just kind of very soft but you can see from the look in her eye that something's going on there um not quite mischievous but almost looking to cause shit (laughs) did you say she was an elf or a human or a dwarf she is an elf she's in winter eldrium are we just all related girls i'm I'm here for it (laughs) that's amazing this is where we are the sisters we are three of five are we all ladrin I'm a high moon elf, but oh, it's okay. so close, like aesthetically very close. Yeah. Oh, but we're all different. Oh, th- I can't wait to make art. Holy shit. This is going to be fun. <laughs> do you do anything before? Just kind of we... like staring at the group, kind of just like not off to the side, not really completely engaging, just kind of observing. So you walk in. You see this massive cuddle puddle trying to comfort our depressed gargoyle and our just sad girl, okay? And you're just like, you don't even let them know you're there. You just stand off to the side and they're like, this is not the vibe for me. I'm here for you. That's Yeah, that's basically, it's like, uh, what is this? What is going on? And as you think that, Anemone you this is the scene that you walk into (laughs) and emony is just gonna wipe sweat from her brow she's gonna put the sword back in her head and she's got her hands on her hips just looking at the cuddle puddle she the expression on her face and her face is anemone is a very tall woman very broad-shouldered dark hair pulled back her eyes, all of you have seen her eyes. One eye looks fairly normal. She's got like ear pier- eyebrow piercings on one eye. And then the other eye has an ear piercing, but it's like sparkling with like almost starlight, but it's not proper starlight. It looks kind of almost like an ominous solar light coming out from her one eye. Almost like she's been touched by something. And she just kind of looks at all of you, sees everybody. She's wearing leather armor. One shoulder's got like a tattoo with like a crescent moon and like a lotus flower on it. Like just 
embedded onto the one bicep and then the other arm is like full on tats going up and down the one arm with like runes of basically everyone's names and she's gonna like that is cute you good (laughs) (laughs) or this is just normal this is just normal I feel like this is pretty normal this is just normal I'm saying that out of character in character I'd be like this is totally normal (laughs) this is totally normal (laughs) This, you, this is every night. Uh, Anemone, you know, your sisters, they're an odd bunch, but they are all there for one another when push comes to shove, regardless of how closed off Delphra is. She's still not willing to walk on into the temple without them. Oh, dear Lord, Meg. You have a child behind you, and suddenly I know. There I, was I, face. I, 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 I honestly almost shit my pants right now. Okay, I am texting my husband right now. Mazrix, get your freaking butt down here and deal with the demon. Looks pretty terrifying. <laughs> when I tell you, every That's... single person is in like right outside my door right now. Everyone, get... my child, oh, my shit. niece, Aww. my nephew, my brother, my mother, all of them, right there. Go tell him to watch the stream in the other room. Uh, I just want to say canonically yeah. that Sin sometimes just appears in the frame just like Delphra's daughter. She's <laughs> <laughs> just, <laughs> just there quietly. <laughs> her hair all hanging out. Oh, like her eyes are like silver white with like a little bit of the closer towards the iris it's like slow. her <laughs> eyes look like they're turning black from the inside out slowly just over a long period of time and she's just <sighs> if you're not paying attention you just see this like pale face with black eyes for a second <laughs> <laughs> and then you blink and then she's gone <laughs> I didn't go and then she is gone now she is gone now oh, oh i almost no. had a heart attack it's gonna oh. be fine <laughs> that was for like half a second there i really like i was like oh that's a child okay that's so funny though oh my gosh (laughs) so that's my eldest child i apologize she's kind of attached to my hip she also plays D &D, so that's amazing that's so cute oh i can't wait till mine's Mm -hmm. old enough to play D D. Mine keeps asking, and he's only five. Aww. Aww. I love how there's gotta, so many moms start young. in this group. It makes me so happy. Okay, I'm, like, I'm sorry. You I'm have to know how to read. <laughs> all the moms. What do you all do? Too. Right? We're just like we're not gonna we're not gonna get through this. Uh, what do you guys do when you you're all around, you're all together fine we were called here right like we're you were to meet someone okay then i'm gonna kind of notice that everyone's here and kind of sigh and look at the entrance of the temple kind of like and then i'm gonna stand straight up and hop off like step off the for my gargoyle squat sisters i think uh we should get this over with yes it's lead on the sooner the better, Let's do this. right, Sin? In the back of your head, the sooner the better, right, Sin? Um, can I do an investigation check to see if I can tell that somebody's talking to her in her brain? Yeah, go ahead. Do oh, you try to hide re- that? I, I don't think anybody, she talks about this to anybody. No, so do you try to hide that? Do you want to do a deception check? I, yeah, I actually, ha- so I haven't responded. I was just listening. I don't think she mm-hmm. would respond. I mean, I could do a deception check, but I think that her mascara covered faith. What did you roll? Not 20, but it put 25. <laughs> oh, oh shit. I, I, you definitely oh, rolled f- harder than that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what do you, what do you? She would just see like a little grimace, just like a little... You good? Pretty you much. quiet, honey. Oh, sorry. I just started my period. Um, <laughs> let's go. You, Rosalind, you definitely know something is up. You're not sure 
what exactly, but you do know that she's paying attention to something else. As um, your paths converge, do you want to say something? You're more than welcome. I was just going to uh, grab her hand and say, sister, it seems as, you're, as if you're troubled. If you need to speak with anyone, let me know. I'm here. Lies. Oh. I'm going to roll a die to see. I have two responses to this. It's like Baldur's Gate. You got to decide. <laughs> um she was about to say something but then she heard lies in her ear and she's gonna kind of like shake it off and she's gonna squeeze Rosalind's hand and she's gonna look at you uh she doesn't smile because she never smiles uh but it would be you know that it, it it is sin's version of a smile thank you sister i always knew you had my back and then she's going to let your hand go and just truck off to the temple she's sick of the shit do you all follow yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So as your paths converge within the hollowed halls of the Grand Temple of Selandria, here beneath the Grand Dome, you gather before an imposing figure of the Grand Cleric, the High Priestess Lady Lysandra. Lady Lysandra is an ethereal beauty with long flowing silver hair that resembles cascading moonlight and piercing blue eyes that hold both wisdom and a hint of melancholy within them. Oh man, I wrote this and we are all emo. Uh, Drape- she, is she our mom? <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> More or less, she's in that role right now. Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Look, you said we're playing in a campaign. We're all the sisters of the moon. Uh, and you asked a bunch of women <laughs> to make characters. <laughs> of course, I'm we're going to get Three silver elves, a cat, and a bunny. Yeah, and a Goliath. <laughs> and the it's <mom>. perfect. <laughs> you started with a cuddle puddle. Yeah. Uh, draped in flowing robes of shimmering white, adorned with intricate patterns resemble- resembling constellations, she radiates tranqu- tranquility and grace. Her voice resonates with authority as it fills the sacred chamber in which she addresses you. Sisters of the moon, your presence is both timely and fateful. Prophecy of the moonstone has awakened, foretelling an imminent threat to the delicate balance in our realm. The stolen moonstone, a source of cosmic power, must be retrieved before it falls into the wrong hands. Only you, chosen by the moon's grace, can undertake this perilous quest. Her eyes are filled with a mix of concern and hope. They look at each one of you in turn. The moonstone has been taken to the treacherous Shadowlands. In a realm consumed by darkness, the rule and ruled by the cursed prince. There he wields his power, twisting the once beautiful landscape into a haunting reflection of his own torment. Your task is to journey to the Shadowlands, navigate its perils and confront the cursed prince. Retrieve the moonstone and restore its radiance to our realm. Your light will dispel the shadows and bring back hope to Salandria. She concludes this little speech with a solemn, in a solemn but like determined tone. May the moon's blessing guide and protect you on this quest. The fate of our realm rests upon your shoulders, Lunar Sisters. May your unity be unbreakable and may your resolve shine as bright as the moon itself. Look out for one another because together you are strong. Is there anything anyone wants to do before she dismisses you? Insight check to see Lady Lysandra. Okay. Insight check for what? To see if we know everything, like if she's maybe keeping anything that we need to know. Roll. Okay. 
And who will said Lady Lysandra? Ah, uh, that was me. Um, yes, Clover is going to say. Do we know under what circumstances or by who the moonstone was taken? Moonstone was taken by the cursed prince, by his shadow vanguard. Many sisters have died tonight. So Delphra's gonna like jump up and down and raise her hand. She's gonna be like, so is he hot? I was thinking the same thing. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let me see. Hang on. What's your say. insight? <laughs> What's my insight? No, no, no. Uh uh Rosalind, what you rolled Ten. an insight check. It was terrible. Ten. Yeah. She she seems legit like she's telling you everything, man. Okay. Uh she is a wise mentor. She's mommy. Yeah. She is mommy. Uh and you asked, is he hot? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, young one. Not everyone finds the same thing attractive. But yes, I would bet him should I have the chance. <laughs> Funny you should mention a beholder. Would we by any chance be expecting to find one along the way? I mean, who can say? We really don't know what's in that realm. <laughs> really God, I hope not. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> She's looking at you very concerned. I'm just making sure I, I have other things I can bring along the way if it's that, because that's, that's a big one. Um, I would pack for the unexpected, my dear. Okay. Not many come back from the Shadowlands. You she, she caresses your cheek. She turns beet red. Just beet red. Gay panic, gay panic. Gay panic. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm just waiting for you to say it. My sapphic sisters. <laughs> My sapphic sisters. Please return. <laughs> but I may know you once again. I feel like oh. Oh, late, two late. is the sapphic sapphire. <laughs> 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 um uh lady um yes so you said that not all of them come back but that means some of them come back right there are a few that have returned and none of them in good condition oh what what does that mean Darkness twists your mind. That world is, it is a land of deceit and evil and darkness now. It was once beautiful, but since the cursed prince has taken power, it has faded, twisted, and become part of him. Yes, Delphar. So, so, um, I'm just wondering, uh, were they all male? Why would we send men when we have such wonderful, strong women? No, but the ones that came back twisted. No, oh, they st the men don't come back. Oh, okay. Well, bitches. then we'll be fine. Do we know, like, is it common knowledge when the cursed prince took over this land, like... Are we privy to this history? Oh, yeah, of course you are. Um, so the city, the land which with that is now the Shadowland used to be called Tenbrosa. And it was a very magical place before this. Um, the Cursed Prince, and give me a minute to actually find his name, once went by the name of Prince Eldrion. He was known for his noble elegance and charm. He and was hotness, Delpha. <laughs> oh yes, he was a very attractive man. Oh, what a good looking boy. No, no. Let me continue. His 
striking features, and he had an aura of charisma that captivated anyone who beheld him. With chiseled, chiseled features, warm smile, the epitome of youth and grace. Very regal. But he lost his way when he began to experiment with certain magics. And in that process, about ten years ago now, he was changed from a beautiful mortal man to one of shadows, barely corporeal. And as he faded, the world seemed to change with him. His land began to began to wither and die. Barriers began to erect themselves between us. And he's hid away. Every now and then, you know, his creatures leave his, his realm and they must be dealt with. He has not been seen from since. Seen from. Because that's where we're going with that. Have any of our sisters that have returned from the Shadow Realm, are any of them here that we might speak to, to find out perhaps what we might be facing? She looks... Good idea. She looks a little heartbroken. She goes, there is one who remains with the ability to speak, though she does not seem to speak in anything coherent lately. Would you like to meet her? Yes. A moment. And she gestures to some couches for you to sit on as she retreats. She pop a spot on the couch. You gargoyle up. You're not even on the couch. You're on its um <laughs> you're on the armchair. Like the arm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just like what's up? Uh I'm, I'm wearing Batman. platform boots. Um <laughs> <laughs> the way that you say that almost sounds like Papa Squat, like Papa oh. Squat. And yeah. I'm like, is that a new patron I'm unaware of? Because it sounds like a patron. Papa, Papa Squat. Papa Squat. Papa squat. <laughs> <laughs> he's my favorite rapper. Yeah, he's my favorite. Smart, so. <laughs> As you guys wait, is there anything that anyone is doing? Just. Mm-hmm. Just, I'm nervous to see. What happened? What befell our sad sister? Mm-hmm. And what what state she's in? Ugh. As uh, is Clover. Clover's a cleric, right? Yes. Do you have restoration? Yes, Clover. Do you have any magic that that might help? Let me check. Our cat is a cleric. Yeah. Uh, what? I don't know if you want to tell them what type of cleric you are. You're, that's totally up to you. Yeah, um, I'm a trickster cleric, <laughs> which is perfect. Oh, <laughs> I'm I'm not sure that my innate magic would be able to help them. However, I do have uh, I do have this, and she points at um, her collar. Um, her collar is a white silk ribbon with a bow tied at the back. Um, and on that collar, you can see several beads have been threaded. Um, I do have at my disposal some uh, some beads of restoration. However, once used, that's all I have. I cannot use them more than once. Um, I'm not sure whether this is the right moment to use them. Especially if we are traveling into a treacherous land. I'm sure there are clerics here that can 
ease our sister's pain, but we should meet them, I think. As you say that, you hear the sound of footsteps coming back, echoing off the hall, coming back towards you. And Lady Lysandra appears again with her arm around a very frail looking, very young looking elf. Her hair has been messily cut away to as short as it can be. Her eyes are very vacant. She looks gaunt. And uh, roll me history to see if anyone you guys recognize her. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Um, I got a nat 11. twenty as well. Wow. Okay. We I have two nat twenties. Two nat twenties. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice. All right. I'm I gonna got a say. 15? Okay. Okay. So with fifteen and above. You guys have heard of her. The Nat 20s, you have interacted with her. Oh. This is Alicia Morfina. And she was once a very devoted paladin of Luna. She was strong. She was loyal. She was incredibly kind and good-hearted and wanted nothing more than to see her sister smile and laugh and now she is a shell you know that the hair is something that she has done to herself she used to have these very long golden locks that she was very proud of and she has started cutting it off Maybe it bothers her. You're not quite sure. No, you can't really seem to get straight answers out of her anymore. Oh, Alicia. You say that and let me just check something. And her eyes sort of flutter above you, but don't land on you. I'm so sorry. So if I can... Um, Rosalind would like to take her hands in, like take take her hands in her own hands. My brain is just not working with that sentence. Um, and sort of place a kiss on her forehead. You walk up to her. You gently take one of her hands. The Lady Lysandra is stepping back just a little bit so that you may approach her. And as you grasp her hand, she jumps and looks at you. Her eyes finally coming to focusing on you and looks terrified for a moment before you place that that soft kiss on her forehead. She sort of, you hear a... <laughs> Bad things happen in the dark. Can you tell us what happened? Or 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 something? If it's too much, it's fine. In the dark. In the dark I hear voices. Voices they tell me. They tell me things like And she's a bit zones out. I'm so gonna break the silence. I'd go kind of sharply. What did the voices say to you? I don't like that face, Jess. Uh, her eyes snap towards you, Sin. I'm making very intense eye contact with her. Rosalind just shoots you a look like, what are you doing? What are you doing? This, one. this is so typical of Sin. You're, oh, it's almost like an eye roll. Like, here she goes again. <laughs> this one this one this one is not good this one does not walk in the path of luna this one is this one is a traitor this one is bad bad 
Shh. She walks towards you a little bit. This one, this one is a disgrace. So Delphur kind of just jumps in there and redirects her and just brings her down to the ground um, and just looks at her softly and she's like, it's fine. They're just tricks. What did you see there? I saw myself. I saw myself. We walked. We walked and she, she was with me. And then I could not pass. I heard screams. I heard them die. I could not find them. I tried. I swear I tried. Of course. Of course you did. Rosalind's going to put her arms on her shoulders just not to restrain her, just to maybe bring her back to herself a little bit. She shivers when you touch her. It's okay. You're safe. They screamed for me. They screamed for me. Your sisters? Yes. I could not find them, but they heard. They saw me. I was the one. Me. I killed them, but I didn't. It wasn't me. I didn't. They, I wasn't there. I was trapped myself. I kept. Oh, I was kept away. It's it's not your fault. I'm going to put a hand on Rosalind's shoulder. Maybe it is too much to have her relive her terrors. We should send her back to the healers. And um, I'm going to go and say my prayers before we get going. And Sin wants to excuse herself to maybe like one of the more private little cloisters, shrine areas. Uh, Yeah. 100% 100% just, you is gonna like go skip. like next door. Yeah, she just is gonna go be alone uh, while they figure out what they want to do. When um, Sin walks before, away. Before Sin leaves, I just want to lay a paw on your shoulder. You know she didn't mean it, right? She's gonna like hang her head for a second and then she's gonna look at you kind of softly. It was the ravings, I know. Luna smiles on you, and then she's... Did, was someone oh. else stopping her? Okay. You, I'm just following you. I'm going to stop. I'm going to be like, can I help you? <laughs> I'm going to be like, you can't be alone right now. I just need some privacy to pray. You can follow, but if you wouldn't mind waiting at the door. Oh, 100%. Okay. And she'll continue. There's a small alcove for you to pray there uh, with a with a reflecting pool and a row of opals, kind of like these large chunks of opal that lead you down to your pool to pray. She'll start to go pray. You can uh, handle the big group first if you want to. I didn't want to tear away too much. When Sin walks away, who's closest right now? You're muted, my love. Yeah. To Sin? Yeah. No, uh, probably, to Alessia. Probably me. I'm like right in her face. She turns to you and grabs your hand. She goes, that one walks in darkness. That one walks in darkness. Okay. You go and you are not safe. I'll be she careful. looks at all of you. Rude. Rude. Is going, <laughs> and then he's going to just walk a little bit, just away from the touching scene and go, Alicia, do you remember where you left, where you were found? By the Moros. And beyond, beyond the morrows. Beyond the morrows. Beyond the morrows. 
there is darkness. Through the morrows you go. There's a land of rock and death and decay. And it's okay. It's okay. Caverns. Yeah. You come up you come across a dragon. So old and so so large. You must have secrets. Secrets to share. There are marshes and shrines. And then the city. The city is. The city is. Dead. Abandoned. All gone. There was a bear. A small girl bear. Small girl's bear. Pink ribbons. All in the street. And then the castle. Spire. I didn't make it past that. Thank you, Alicia. What? Thank you. What stopped you? Darkness. My eyesight was gone. I heard the screams. I saw myself. Maybe that's all a mistake, though. Did I go? Did I? Where's Talina? And the what? The girls with the nat twenty know that that is someone she went, one of her party members that she went out with. Tina, and we know that Talina hasn't returned. You She's do. not one of the people. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to tell her that. Um, That's uh, Talina's. Talina's safe. Uh, she has returned to her family to recover. Hi, Arlo. Uh, hi. The eyes look at you. They begin to kind of, she begins to fade back into herself. She goes, I'm still there, aren't I? Lies. Selena had no family. I was family. I'm still there. No, 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 no. You're safe. You're safe with us. And that's when Lady Lysandra will pick her up and you see Lady Lysandra cast something. You're not sure what, but a silvery light begins to overtake her and that crease in her brows of panic and fear kind of recedes. I will return her. You... Get your things. You leave tonight. And Lady Lysandra disappears with Alessia. Sin. So Sin is going to kneel. She's going to walk into the little enclave. Um, she'll go to the reflection pool, kneel, and she's going to take her head is shaved on one side. Or it seems shaved. It's, she has no hair on one side, and then the other hair is the black turning into white. She's gonna take a tiny like strand of it, and she's gonna just start like braiding it as she's going to say a prayer, not audibly, more just kind of in her head. And um, as she's braiding the locks, she's just going to be repeating. Um, I don't know what the appropriate honorifics for Luna is. Um. Call her Luna. 
you can call just her Luna. Luna. It's she not is. like your grace, your uh, your radiance. That's yeah, just Luna, dear Luna, um, mother, mother, mother. Luna. Oh, that, I like that, mother Luna. Uh, she'll be in her mind, just kind of forgive me of my sin, forgive me of my trespass, take me back into your light. And she's just going to repeat that over and over again. And then finally, she's going to get to the end and she's going to take a blade up to where the blade braid started and she's going to nick it off her head and lay it as like an offering at the pool. And then she's just going to meditate and try to listen. When you lay it as an offering, each strand begins to turn this bright silver and glow as it seems to disintegrate in front of you. An offering accepted and you hear, this is your chance to redeem yourself, little one. This is your chance to come home. I want to come home, mother. Once again. And you say that. You feel that little caress on your cheek, and it's almost like it gets ripped away from you. And you hear, Might I remind you, she left you to die. Only I was there for you. You do not need to redeem yourself. There is nothing wrong with you, child. She's going to bite her lip and look at where the little hair was. You are not welcome here, demon. You be alive without me. She's just going to ignore her. You ignore her. I'm going to stand up, kind of get myself out of control, and then I'm going to turn and give Delphra a little nod. Prayer is done. We can go now. You walk away. And as you do, just, just for a moment, you feel a little tug on the back of your shirt. You brush that off and can keep going. Ugh. It gives me the ick. Ungrateful child. And as Sim's walking towards me, towards the <clears throat> exit, wow, uh, I'm going to put my arm around her arm and just kind of link arms and go, okay, it's time to go. Yeah. Let's go. You? Let's, let's go find out if the Cursed Prince is hot. Let's do it. <laughs> da, da, da. Girl power. <laughs> um. <laughs> Let's go. As he does sound hot. Just, just say it. Oh, he is hot. <laughs> Everyone is hot in my world. Yeah. Can we um, romance? <laughs> you can romance whoever you like. Oh. 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 We are here for romance. If you want to sleep with someone, it is fade to black. But you can get there all you like. <laughs> Um, so as your quest begins, you guys gather in front of the temple and begin to walk out of Salandria. Um, the grand temple is, it's a beacon of hope. Its walls are imbued with ancient lunar magic. As you step into the moonlight, the way to the world, the world's destiny rests upon your shoulders. This is, this is massive. This is a lot of responsibility. But united in your purpose, you embark on this journey into the Shadowlands to retrieve the stolen Moonstone and to fulfill the Moonstone prophecy. And as you embark on this journey and you walk through Salandria, you make it eventually to the Lunar Forest. A vast expanse of woodland veiled in perpetual twilight. 
The forest's thick canopy blocks out the sun and moon, casting a cool green glow upon the forest floor. Luminous trees with silver-barked trunks grace the landscape, reaching towards the heavens in a reverent silence. Their leaves shimmer with ethereal luminescence, mirroring the waxing and waning of the moon above. The majesty of the lunar forest and its enchanted foliage is breathtaking. A tapestry of ferns, mosses, and magical fungi carpet the forest floor, casting a gentle otherworldly glow as you walk. Bioluminescent flowers guide your path. A delicate radiance adding to the ethereal beauty of the surroundings. The air carries the soothing melody of owls and nightingales sing of the forest lullaby. As you venture deeper into the lunar forest, a symphony of whispers and rough and rustling for foliage accompanies your every step. The air is alive with anticipation. For the forest denizens have taken notice of your presence. You feel eyes watching you, curious as to who is passing through their forest. Eventually, you make it to the Moonstone Glade, a hidden clearing within the lunar forest that is captivating with its ancient trees and mystical altar. The towering of silver bark trees encircles the glade, while the intricately carved, carved altar, pulsating with lunar magic, stands at the center. Can everybody give me a perception check? You have not yet breached the circle. 30, 20. 30, 20, perfect. I got not a 22. 22 26. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. We, we are, are so perfect. Yeah. That's your third dot okay. nat 20 in a row. That's a nat 20 for a 25. Okay. I don't know wow. what is happening. This will what? not happen in combat. This will not happen in combat. I guarantee you. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. screwed. Maybe a two or a five. <laughs> the best I party ever i feel so sad with all of these high perceptive ro perceptive roles uh you guys see a tiny figure with shimmering wings and a crown of delicate flowers in the moonlight upon the altar she paces back mm -hmm. and forth almost as if she is patrolling this area and with the nat 20 you manage to see these small almost see-through-esque uh, little balls of light a red one a green one a blue one they all seem to be patrolling this circle on high alert what do you guys do is this something that we would expect to see? Like, is this allies of, like, we know what they are. We are, ex like, this is, everything's fine. Or are these intruders? You, with your roles, you know that's a fairy. Little pixie. She's walking around. They're, this forest is full of them. Okay. Uh, and you know that these little balls of light are will-o'-wisps. Okay. But Do we know if they're friendly? That's generally not. You friendly. do not know. No. Can, okay. can can I can I do a roll to find out? You can do a history check. Okay. Katie knows will of wisps are generally not friendly, but does rub. Ooh. I guess it depends on what our allegiance is, because I feel like Bronco we are very fayish. Oh no. She knows shit. That's what I'm saying. Okay, <clears throat> so we're running out of the nat 20s already. That's oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Can I roll a nat 20 based on my experience um, in the Feywild? Oh, uh, yeah, go. Roll, roll me a d20 for uh, your, with advantage for history. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a 19. 19. Um, you know that Will-O-Wisps are all through this forest. Um, they're not generally aggressive 
but they will attack if threatened. Uh, you know that fairies are troublemakers at the very least, but are never outright evil about it. They just like to cause cause some chaos here and there. But you also are able to tell that this is unusual. The place that you're in right now is called the Moonstone Glade, and it is a place of sacred rituals. And mostly all of the animals and all of the creatures in this forest leave it be. Um, this is unusual. Delphra, I think you might be a good person to talk to a fairy. Um, I concur. But I, I warn you, all of you, don't make any threatening moves and be careful because they can be very tricksy. Yeah, and there are also several will-o'-the-wisps that are just kind of chilling alongside the fairy. So um, I don't know what also, that means exactly. With your nat 20, because you got a nat 20 with your perception, you see large figures sort of hmm? sitting on either side of the forest in the hmm? trees. What? Like what, what kind of large figures? Are they male or female? Mm. Are they human? They or are hulking beasts, at least. Some sort of animal. You you know they have maybe about four legs or so. Or so? Or so. <laughs> you, they're they're just sitting, right? So they're not moving. Average? Are these taller they're than not the trees? Or are they? So they could? No. They are not. Okay. They're not made of stone. They are moving. They're like, you can see them, like one of them, you see a hand kind of like, or a paw or something come up and just start scratching. Yeah. Oh, I hate this. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Hey, um, it's uh, fine if you decide to go ahead and speak to them, Delphra. But if those things start coming in, you know, I'm just going to just... <laughs> Just, I'm not unsheathing, I'm just preparing myself for battle. And if they if they look at you funny, tell me. So then I can just, you know, I'll just jump in there. This is what I do. This is what I do. This is what I'm good at. <laughs> this is one of the only things I'm good at. But you know what I mean? You are good at so many things, Anatomy. Entire books of poetry could be written about you. I'm just going to start going off on <laughs> <laughs> Anemone is, Anemone is going to freeze and like not move at the compliment. <laughs> like slowly rising to the top of her head and it's like red and then the eye flashes and she's like okay Sid that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Hi my name is Sin and I'm kind of hurting a lot right now. <laughs> Sin, I really love even... to give other people compliments <laughs> because I'm dying on the inside. I'm dying on... <laughs> if any of you have seen the Hope skit from like the 2010s. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, and then me, you are so powerful and so strong. She just... <laughs> oh my god. And like, Rosalind just friend, kind of please. like puts her hand on her shoulder and just like gently pushes her off kilter so she fucking stops oh. like, oh. listen. sorry like, just stop. listen she's oh, just gonna turn she's around the, she's the big the big strong girl in our party and we don't need her to be panicking maybe don't do that just yet. <laughs> maybe wait till we're past the big hulky things because there are things over there that are scary things oh, and once she points them out helping. guys not you helping. can see the outline are they scary looking i don't know but they're big you don't know you can you you only see the shadows right now mm. i'm gonna assume danger until until proven otherwise uh i was gonna just turn around and be like calm down oh delphra are you going to speak to them the fairies I don't know. But, whoever you choose to speak to she's gonna take your hand and say you can do it and cast guidance on you. Aww. 
Uh, so you can add by a D4. The way, by the way, this is something I completely forgot to mention, guys. Um, yeah. You have a spe- two special abilities right here. You have your special moon power, which you guys can take out whenever you like. Oh, um, and that. you also have uh, Luna's Blessing. So once per game, one of the characters decided by the party uh, can call upon Luda for guidance, receiving a hint from the DM if you ever get stuck at anything. Okay. 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 Like a story point. Like yeah. That. Is um, our moon power in our, uh, like, did you add that as a feat or is it just written in our little DMs? I can't remember. Uh, I did not make a feat, but they are you, some of you guys made feats for them in D&D Beyond, but otherwise oh. I did post it all for you. Okay. Uh, it's in the character. It's in the uh, character um, place on Discord. Gotcha. Okay. Got, I found it. And thank you so much, Daniel. Um, Sin, you have Bardic Inspiration to your next role. So does Clover. <gasps> so does Rosalind. And so does Cappy. Yay. And I'm sure he's trying to do more. And Delphra. Yay! And, and I'm and I'm certain anemone is coming. <laughs> there we go. Is that a uh, is that a d6 or yes? Yeah, you get Yay! to add a d6 Wonderful. to your next roll. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Daniel. So Thanks, Daniel. thank you. It's not even Tuesday night, and you're taking care of me. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, Delphar, what do you do? So I'm going to slowly approach this little pixie fairy and just kind of like... Fuck your husband, okay? What's He's wrong? screwing what? with my roles now. He's screwing with oh. my roles now in chat. What is... oh. He put in Hand of Fate, so I have a... I minus a D8 from my next roll. Oh, no, wait. This, this is why we Hand of Fate husband. is... Hand of Fate is I roll with disadvantage. This is why we love your husband. Yeah. Like... Fuck your husband. Mm-hmm. We're all here for him. Yes. <laughs> You're just like you can go in the corner now. <laughs> he is the he is the non-toxic masculinity that we need in this game. We lo- we love James. Mm-hmm. We stand oh, James. hundred percent. Okay. That's what I need in my house full of females. Okay. There's more non-toxic <laughs> masculinity. Okay. Yes. Like, like uh, there's three, four girls if you include the dog five. So <laughs> Uh, okay, so I'm going to go up to the little pixie fairy and I'm just going to kind of like kneel and hold my hands and so, cut them out just to kind of invite her into my You hands. walk right up to her? Oh, into the right up. Oh, right up. So you you go about 30 feet into the clearing and as you go to walk up to her, at some point she halts and she looks at you. She goes, Interlorpler, what do you do here? We're just looking to hands pass. on our hips. We're just Maybe looking to pass, little one. Girl. Little one, bitch! I'm older than you are. Oh, a hundred percent. But <laughs> and I just kind of like roll my now. hands and bow. I'm just like, no disrespect, but we just want to pass. This forest is unsafe, and I will keep it that way. Who are you? What do you do here? Well, I'm Delphra, and I'm here for the Moonstone to find it. Thief! Thief! Well, Those who maybe in my past time. Oh. <sighs> she sticks her hands into her two fingers into her mouth, and she goes, she whistles. I can't do that at all, but she whistles. Oh, oh. I suggest you leave, you tall freak. <laughs> I am a freak, but that's okay. We sh- just, there's no need to panic. We just want to scoot on by. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Everything's okay. Question no one DM. passes this glade. Are we trying to pass the glade or go to the shrine? You're trying to get through the glade. You're trying to get to the Shadowlands. Okay, so we're not, this isn't a pit stop. We're just trying to get through. Okay. Mm-hmm. Everything's okay. Just, just calm your hormones. It's fine. <gasps> okay, first of all, fuck you. And mm-hmm. second of all, listen here, brave souls. 
Because I take flight. And she flies. Oh, fuck. You think I can't hear you talking? One girl's in the back fucking complimenting another one. I know you're here. And she's looking in the darkness. <laughs> I know we're you're here. here. We're here for a good time. Not necessarily a long time, but a good time. We just want to go. It's fine. How will you prove to me that you're no threat to these animals in this forest? We have two animals in our party. Wait, what? Point to the yeah. cat and the bunny. You have a cat and a bunny. I'm Wait, come out here. Come out here. Yeah. Why aren't they coming out here? I know. Oh, oh, Why aren't they coming out here? Walks. Why are they coming I hop, out here? Hop over. I walk into the clearing. That's not a fucking My bunny. little strut. She's giant. Like, I know yes. I'm tiny. I know I'm small, but bunnies are a lot smaller than that. I feel like the pixie would look and suddenly there's this scary pale face with black eyes just there. <laughs> <laughs> the willow wisps begin to, like, circle above you guys. Oh, God. She's yeah. got, like, her Pick hand in up. A... I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get your name. Fair Fairy? That's rude. No, don't call me Fairy. I'm not a fairy. Oh, I'm a sprite. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fair sprite. My You're name so is Ileana. Ileana? Stop. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's a beautiful so... name. Thank you. Oh. Yes, I I am. Um, I know I am large for a rabbit. Uh, I have some experience with some strange magic. And so, so you know, I... I, I, I don't really know why I'm a rabbit, but were you not always a rabbit? Well, no, I, I used to be an elf. Do we know that, by the way? One did animal. We, You're at one you? animal now. <laughs> Do you get stuck yeah. in wild shape? So, <laughs> Delphra's going to like go behind her and just grab this like shining silver sickle. That's kind of like the same color as the moon. And she's going to just bring it down and tap it onto the ground and uh, summon her uh, wildfire spirit. As you Ooh. as you summon your wildfire spirit, just at that moment, out of the trees, come two dire owl bears. Ooh. Ooh. Owls, the natural enemy of rabbits everywhere. Please tell me what your your spirit looks like. Uh, so it's this beautiful silverish blue fox with about nine different tails uh, and piercing emerald eyes. It's kind of just very soft, but also smoky, kind of like you would see as a fog coming over the moon. Ooh, beautiful. She looks to you real suddenly and you see her put a hand up to halt the dire owl bears and they sit back down into their big hulking forms friend to the animals you say convince me so convince me or we shall fight so they're very soft and i bet if you wanted you might be able to pet their ears Yes. This one's not a real animal. It doesn't count. Okay, but the cat is a real animal. <laughs> I, sure. Were you always a I, cat? I say, yes, I was born a cat. I've always been a cat. And and just give me a second. And she gets down and rolls to expose her <laughs> tummy and oh, just man. lies there kind of belly up in that helpless, it's a trap pose, but you know. <laughs> Sin's eye twitches because she wants to pet the belly. <laughs> you hear, you hear, you hear, Aww. and then this tiny little sprite flies into your stomach and begins to pet. Do you have a, I just got a fluffy stomach, like tons of fur coming out. Tummy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. One of the those little like kind mommy pouch that walk? does the yeah. Yep. <laughs> Um, wow, and I just start that, purring yeah. in this really low, low rumbling, you know, the comfort purr, not yeah, the yeah, I want yeah. something purr, the comfort purr. Mm. 
She's... While this is happening, can Rosalind go and sit on the ground, crisscross applesauce in front of the Will of the Wisps, and get her face as close as she can to them to sort of see if she can see them more closely or hear them if they're speaking? Do you call to them? I do. Uh, just I would love to do that. Is that a thing I can do? Yes. What do you say to them? You're making my Irish heart so happy right now. And like the Scottish part of me is so happy. Um, so <clears throat> I would like to um, just sort of extend the fact that we are friends and um, ask if they have seen anything because we're searching for the person who took the Moonstone. We're not looking to take the Moonstone. We want to bring it back to safety. You hear Ileana uh, enjoying the purrs and scratching. And then as you kind of ask them this, they flutter down to you and you're surrounded by um, very beautiful and normally quite fearsome if they touch you, um, balls of light that feel to you very friendly right now and they one of them kind of lands on your shoulder and another one lands on your nose and another one over here and on your head and you hear these little flutters and like bells almost little ding ding dings as they move and you hear the moonstone's been stolen you see the moonstone are you going to return it? Yes. Without it, we're all going to die. I don't want that to happen. I want to bring it back so everyone's safe. I sense goodness in you, sad one. And then from on top of your head, the one up there goes, I don't know why you're so sad, but I like your hair. Her cheeks are soft. And little bells kind of go all around you. And at that, the dire owl bears kind of lay down and put their heads on their paws. And Ileana goes, Well, all right then, I guess. If you're friends of the animals, you promise me that you won't hurt them. Never. I suppose Never. I could let you pass. Anemone lowers her head from the sword <laughs> hilt and go. I pet the owlbears. You have to ask the owlbears that. Side and steps Delphra... over. Uh, what were you, what was Delphra steps over where? Uh, Delphra is just going to give a nod to her little fox, and the fox just runs up to this little pixie and just gives her a full on lick from like <laughs> feet to her head. Laugh. <laughs> just like fully drenched in saliva. Her hair is sticking up at one odd angle. <laughs> one of her wings is dripping saliva and she looks like she's the happiest thing in the world. <laughs> uh, Anemone, which bear do you walk over to? The cutest one. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, Ileana turns to you and she goes, the one on the right, that one's name is Beef. And the one on the left, that one's name is Owlie. Beef and Owlie. <laughs> and Owlie. Oh, Owlie. <laughs> yeah. I, I I named her when I was, like, real young, so. Oh, that's so precious. <laughs> so sweet. Um, Which one's the nicer one? Owlie. Beef is kind of okay. a dick. Oh, no. I love this fairy. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, I'm not the best with animals, but um, uh, you've got well, some rations. Could go with food, yeah. Yeah, rations. She'll take out like two sticks of beef jerky, and it's the most awkward looking thing ever from this this woman who is very big with like two tiny sticks of rations, approaching the two owl bears, going, "Yeah, beef and Ellie, yeah." <laughs> Cute little the moment bears. you say their names, kitty, kitty, kitty. the <laughs> moment you say their names, Beef's like head whips towards you and he goes, mm -hmm. looks uh -huh. at that, yeah, I got that good jerky food. in your hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come here. Snaps Come here. and ah! takes it from you. 
Oh, doesn't hurt you. Doesn't hurt you. Okay. Doesn't hurt okay. you. Okay. Close. Okay. Very okay. close. Okay. That was a warning shot. Understood. You got it. I got it. Click. You snap. Very gentle. Okay. 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 Understood. Outly lays on her side. <sighs> Feeds it right directly to her. I Can I rub that. your belly? You had she she goes onto her back to let you rub, and you hear little who. Ooh. 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 Can we just Ooh. stay here for a moment? As um, big tall lady is like in full, like cute rubbing of an owl bear. Probably the arms is- come up and kind of just grab you to her. Oh yes, yeah, could- oh, this is amazing. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> my life has changed. Second cuddle puddle of the campaign. I just, I just, <laughs> I just realized that I have the Eldritch Invocation speak with animals. Go ahead. <laughs> So I guess I just have that on me. Um, I think I can cast it whenever I want. Uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna like shuffle over to the owl bears, be like, "Hi." In owl bear like... language, in owl bear language, yeah. Just Ooh. what's up? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she's gonna actually be like uh so this isn't normal right the whole like the fairy standing guard and stuff no so i'll be just kind of like have things been bothering you lately in the woods i mean now that you mention it i kind of have a thorn stuck out my back leg and it really hurts oh shit let me take care of that for you my guy (laughs) <laughs> she's really? gonna go hey go, let me look for it so while she's looking for it uh, but nothing nothing weird nothing dangerous nothing out of the ordinary he looks left he looks right goes shadows danced through here not more than a few hours ago a few hours ago that's pretty troubling um, did they hurt anybody no but they all left right. with something that we all need to live. Oh, did the boots still get stolen hours ago? Mm-hmm. Oh, the way that um, what's her name was going on and on about like dragons and and marshes and shrines and cities. I, that sounded like a whole adventure. Uh, it was for her, but that was not for the moonstone. Gotcha. Okay. So, all right. Now I'm Scarlet is up to date. Um that's uh yeah that's can you scratch like right there thanks yeah oh hold on i'm gonna pull this out so just like on three right okay one two i'm gonna pull the little you pull it and he out. snaps at you but he doesn't he doesn't bite you uh yeah i was expecting that i'm like all right well you know just uh i'm gonna pocket that um do you know which way they went he snorts rolls and then kind of points one of his long thick paws in the direction of where you're heading which is the tree called which is the which is a tree called the moon sages tree interesting all right well thank you very much my sisters and i are trying our best to return the moonstone so we all don't die even though yeah, that would be great. sometimes death would be so I still sweet, haven't right? gotten Allie pregnant yet. So like if you could Oh, not... you guys are a couple. Okay, okay. I'm hoping. I'm hoping to woo her. Oh, wait. By manly ways. Wait, you're trying to get her pregnant, but you haven't wooed her yet. Okay. We I'm might be putting the cart before the horse, but uh I would recommend finding she out my cup. Oh, uh, does she know about this yet? Yeah, I tell her, uh, like, daily. And she hasn't said yes? She just laughs at me. Are there other owlbears in the woods that might be willing? Yeah, but Howley's the best one. She smells like cupcakes, and, and her eyes glisten when the light gets in them, and it's beautiful. All right, but I'm just, uh, you know, d- maybe uh, they could take a little slow. You know, girls don't like hearing about being impregnated uh, by 
men they're not in relationships with. Uh, Think of how cute her, her cubs would be. I'm sure they would be adorable, but you know, it's a lot of work well, you know, on the body. It's a lot of stress recommend? on the body. Oh, uh, I recommend that uh, I'm starting to look around like hell. <laughs> the insult. No one else understands. Is, uh, no idea. Uh, <laughs> you guys. Anemone is. Who? 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 <laughs> like, what do I recommend? Oh. I, yeah, yeah. Um, I recommend um, um, you work on flowers. yourself. Flowers. Oh, like, oh, Rosalind. Uh, so here, here's I'm gonna pull Rosalind aside. She said no, like a bunch of times. I understand. Um, like no means no, right? <laughs> no, 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 totally does. Totally does. Um, I, I, I I'm not a wonder. rapist. No, no, no. Not a rapist. I'm not. Oh, I'm speaking it. Oh, I said that in English or a common. I don't want the. Bear. Do you think I can't understand common? Like, I don't know. Does the owlbear rude. understand common? Is it? A <laughs> He's animal? He looks very offended and hurt. Oh shit! You're okay. Not helping at all. Um. All okay. I'm saying, all I'm saying is if 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 he would like to give it one more chance maybe go for a more flowers and take her stargazing kind of thing instead of immediately saying our babies would be smart and beautiful like yeah let's don't don't break up the babies right now like that's, yeah, that's okay. too soon that's too soon and if she still says no so i'm coming on too strong uh that yeah no? yeah absolutely too strong too strong too strong, too strong. be chill yeah and if she still says no with this version let it be there are other owlbears in the do owlbears like flowers i don't know i know very you know more about animals than i do i don't know anything about animals does, any, does anyone want to does anyone want to roll I, um oh, an animal handling check animals? i just i just know how to talk to them i actually i'm not an animal expert at all i think that's delphra oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. or maybe clover clover is an animal that's uh, true what um, I, I oh did I hear my name? Is this in common yeah. or is this still in Alba? Yeah, I no, I'm speaking common to Rosalind. I'm saying I don't know anything about animals. I've of clover. Uh Cappy is an animal now, but used to be an elf like us. So I don't know if you know what what's that? How can I help? Oh I just rolled a 19 on animal handling. Is that helpful? <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's not the traditional <laughs> gift. Uh I'd say they'd probably like honey better oh. uh, fucking pulling like... this shit out of my ass right now so. i know i'm like looking for i'm i feel like Wait, socially Ronnie? awkward right now i did not know i was getting roped into this kind of advice conversation <laughs> so i'm like oh my gosh we have to go run and get the moonstone so maybe just ask her what she's into and i give rosalind the, like the let's get the fuck out of her do i still um, have a little, little wisp on my nose you do it's the red one and it's glittering. You, you feel like you're getting little, it's cold. It's like little, like cold kisses. Oh. Yeah. Just say goodbye. Hey, guys. Thanks, thanks for the information. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you too. That information is going to save everybody's lives. So, yeah. Hey, watch uh, out for the brambles. Hoo hoo. Mm. <laughs> just hoo hoo. I'm, just, he, at, I'm speaking to him in owlbear so this whole time i'm like i sound like Krog talking to a squirrel but i'm just like <laughs> just like who who mix squeaking who her who her who he who ha who he who ha who he who ha who he who ha ha i have a question talking about I do have a question. Does um, Auli hear all of this while Anemone is now fully covered in feathers? And hundred percent, he oh, is I'm not just like. Listen, oh, beef is happy. for better for better or worse. Beef is is not subtle. a gentle giant to her, but just not the brightest bulb. Oh, so this whole time that he's saying this stuff, like I want to have her babies, I feel like I'm like looking past him at Auli with like a. Oh, and if she's making eye contact with me, I don't know. I'm just like uh, inside she check, has... Allie. <laughs> you can roll an inside check on Allie. Oh, sure. 
<laughs> I uh, I got a six. You're you're just way out of your element right now. Well, I can I can understand Albert. I don't know how to read an Albert's face. Uh Albert facial expressions mean nothing to me. They're giant owl faces. They're just maybe maybe it's an animal thing. I got a dirty 20, so maybe <laughs> With I your, can read. You know, the... it is, it is. Um you you look you're looking at this conversation happening you're watching Allie to see her reactions to this and you see her she's got anemone in this bear hug and she has started petting the top of anemone's head and uh (laughs) and you can see that she's very much enjoying the attention that beef is giving her but she'll she is also enjoying fucking with him oh Mm -hmm. that's not good (laughs) <laughs> these bears are so toxic oh my yeah, gosh let's yeah. get out of and, here uh, <laughs> and at some point she says maybe one day beef maybe one day he's like that's uh, good enough for me beef, keep, cut your losses no I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> yeah I kind of just look at Sin and, and go oh you know what everybody in common I guess the shadow spawn took the moonstone towards the tree of i forget what it's called the of lunar delights um <laughs> i know i think the moon the tree of lunar tree. delights <laughs> <laughs> no uh that is the greatest thing ever i think that's rule, a rule 34 kind of thing yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> oh the branches are long and bad <laughs> they're uh What's thick the like the girth. They this are is where thick. this is where we have certain and like, hard. parties. All of us sisters go hang out by this tree, you know, in the summertime. Smooth. Sometimes it like yeah. vibrates with energy. Polished, polished, no splinters. <laughs> polished to perfection. <laughs> the tree of lunar delights. Everybody. Um, everybody gets naked. Why do I feel like we are we are RPing through like a smutty romance fantasy? (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, it is now. Uh... Oh Um, my goodness! Is there anything else anyone else wants to do before you completely bypass my combat? Anemone Uh... fully in in oxytocin will go. "Ah, Good, this great pet. Great pet. This is awesome. <laughs> I feel like it's a good day. Let's go fight some things now. I feel refreshed. It, to be feel... it was, but it's fine. We don't I, I created the combat and however you get around it is up to you guys. With the power of friendship. With the yeah. power of friendship. <laughs> oh, man. These are the friends we met along the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so before we go past, I'm gonna turn around to Ileana, the little pixie, mm-hmm. and I'm just gonna ask her, like, um, so do you have any advice before we go through hell? I've never been I've never been to the Shadowlands. It's not good for fairies there, it's not good for life in general, so not really. Just respect the moon sage's tree when you get there oh no problem on that we're we're we're, we're good you there said we'll, we'll go we'll go dancing around it naked it's fine if that's what it wants um i just oh, want to sure make sure we love that yeah we yeah. always have to do the um, naked illustrie dance it's always plan b plan a is naked dancing plan b is you know other things always always um but yeah uh, i get it okay oil well, mud um, wrestling uh, legit hopefully legit. i see you um <laughs> alive again in a day or two yeah bye if you call my name i'll come and see you again if you're friends with the animals you're friends with me and and with that i just kind of like give her a little kiss on the top of the head and be like thank you she blushes oh so cute so much gayness i love it um so <laughs> Rosalind's gonna take her little her little will of the wisp friend off of her nose. It, and, it goes into your hand, and sort of kiss it and put it down. It pulses a bright red, 
and then it floats away. Yes. Uh, Okay, you guys. I want it to be canon that she has freckles now. You have freckles now? Okay. I want to freckles it gave it gave you little red freckles okay oh that's going in the character art <laughs> wait before you go we have something that might help and oh? uh iliana will fly over to the diet uh the dais once more and she'll give you all uh one strawberry and I will post this in chat for you. But basically, it's a it's a fruit that glows like fallen stars. Uh, these rare and mystical berries possess enchanting properties. When consumed, starberries provide various beneficial effects such uh, to the consumer. They can be found hidden amongst the verdant grown in this magical forest. Uh, you get three effects with one berry. Ooh. A restorative glow. So eating a starberry restores a small amount of health, rejuvenating the consumer and healing minor wounds. Roll 1d4 plus 1 to determine how much you get back. You get a euphoric serenity, which is um, it grants the advantage on saving throws against being charmed or frightened uh, and may be eaten as a free action after the DM calls for a roll. Uh, and you get some lingering magical effects. The It imbues the consumer with a trace of magical essence uh, that enhances your spell casting abilities, granting a plus one bonus to spell attack rolls and saves uh, for the next 10 minutes. And yeah. I will just real quickly post this in chat for you. I think here is where we will take our five 10 minute break whatever you guys need and we will come back and continue on uh daniel are you listening okay we're gonna take our break <gasps> now see you soon just had our <laughs> five minute break don't worry about it it's fine we got busy talking i have to burp i'm so sorry <laughs> just let it out <laughs> it's fine There's um no filters on this show it's fine <laughs> i have none period so um you guys have just finished dealing with iliana um and continued on your travel to the tree of lunar delights was it mm-hmm. um okay. <laughs> <laughs> it is now anyway uh oh let's- yeah is there anything anyone wants to do as you travel or do I continue on? Um, I feel like now that I know that there are shadow monsters, I'm going to be traveling sneakily, mm-hmm. like keeping to the shadows. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So every now and then you guys, uh, sin kind of disappears behind a tree. Mm-hmm. Um, just if you're watching, if you're watching it, you can see her like, do you want to roll a stealth check? Sure. Wait, are you a rogue too? No. No, um, not at I'm all. I'm just being sneaky. <laughs> like, I'm not a rogue. No, no, we, no. It was like, are we both elf rogues? I feel like that's a ter- that. Mm, no, we are please. both emo elves, though. Oops, all rogues. It's fine. <laughs> not all rogues. I've wanted um, to do a campaign like that, though. Oops, I, have, I have, I have done oops. All, I actually have run an oops all rogues in Pathfinder. Everyone oh, was in nice. jail. They had to escape a prison. <laughs> uh okay i have a plus six to myself but i rolled a two so that's that's an eight so it is completely visible you see sin just kind of just hunker by a tree and wait for you all to pass like she you can't (laughs) see me uh like i'm I'm invisible i am the this forest is the wrong aesthetic the silver is just you know never ever be out of my sight (laughs) like counteract oh no yeah oops <laughs> i screwed up whatever it's fine it's I'm fine just... it's it's it's, it's fine. the best band coming together ever i love it um oh i just want to cast mage armor before we continue oh yeah perfect yeah you what does that look like when you do it 
I think that um, it starts um, at the tips of my ears. This rainbow energy just flows down my body and ends at my fluffy tail. And then I wag it and little uh, sparks come off. Ah, beautiful. That is um, cute. And I do have uh, the ability to see in the the darkness very the far. Darkness. The dark. You can see in the see. darkness. Yes, it's one of my abilities is to see, and I have devil sight, so even like magical and non magic, Ooh. just oh. dark. It's cool. Oh, oh shit! So it's better man. than my dark vision. Thinking about some things that I'm just or worse that I didn't depends. I, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> is that it for everyone? You yeah. you've uh, we've been buffed. You've yeah. done your stuff. Can I check yeah. for? Traps along the way. You can, yeah. Uh, roll me investigation as you're walking. Um, I think every now and again, uh, I would also be climbing a tree just to kind of poke my head above the canopy and just see kind of generally where we're going and you know that sort of thing. She just steps on a trap and dies. <laughs> oh. You just you just step on a trap and as you're walking, um, someone's put out a like a little rabbit trap and Cappy was about to step into it, but you step into it and it grabs your ankle and you just get pulled upwards cool. um and hang there. I feel like if you didn't <laughs> roll for traps, this trap would have never existed. <laughs> it would not have. You have cost your own demise. <laughs> Listen, if you do something, I will make sure something happens in the game. Okay. I Can I roll for buried treasure? You can roll for buried treasure. Do you want to start digging? Roll for moonstone? What are you doing? Yeah, can I roll for moonstone? Okay. I got a 19 plus 19 for buried three. treasure. Yeah, so... God, what are you for- doing i'm looking for buried treasure I'm just so you just start You're digging just letting no i'm just looking i'm looking for a little like maybe a, a little coin something. sticking out of the dirt i don't know you said that things appear <laughs> a little we, x on look- the ground <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking for an x on the ground Sin, yeah as you look around <laughs> and you duck under a tree to kind of hide as you sneak there's a little shimmer in the tree trunk as you approach it you see a small pendant what uh, do you do oh <clears throat> no one else can see this but upon finding buried treasure sin's gonna smile a little bit <laughs> and then she's gonna uh she's gonna like take her dagger and like use it to like lift it up Oop. Roll me uh, investigation. Uh, 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 ten. Ten. It's this beautiful silver pendant. And as you are looking at it, the light catches it just right. And a very familiar symbol is etched into it. Uh, You say it's familiar. What symbol is it? The symbol of Nixaria. I drop it so fast. I back the fuck up. Look up. Where's the moon? Anyone see the moon? It Can is see the moon, guys? with the canopy above you. You cannot see it. And in your head you hear, I give you gifts and you squander them. Leave me alone. You would not be here without me. Why do you forsake me? I don't want you. That is not what you said. I didn't know what I was saying. They were going to die. And we saved them. You are my biggest regret now leave me alone you hear a laugh and then so spicy so spicy i'm just kidding (laughs) you do that and there's another (laughs) laugh 
I ask nothing of you. And yet you run back to these people that wish for you to repent for saving lives. Maybe you should think harder, little one. And you feel that presence fade. Ah. Mm. Uh, you, you okay? Oh, uh, I thought I found buried treasure. Uh, it, it was just, it was trash. Someone was littering. How dare they? Uh, we should hurry and get out of here, though. Uh, yeah. The tree of nightly delights, or lunar delights. <laughs> Let let me get Rosalind down. Oh, so you Rosalind, first. like, hey guys, can yeah. you <laughs> yeah. let me you're, let me get a hanging, first. swinging. Let, let me what, grab. Okay, what let phase me just, is the moon in? You be, you begin uh, to spin. <laughs> it, it's kind of overcast right now. What? Stop spinning. You can't help it. It's not like I'm doing it on purpose. It just keeps you going. Can, it's not my fault. Just grab me hand. hand. Grab me hand. Thank you. Uh, Wrap me head. Um, right, then I'm gonna Delphra's have to do this like, with the sword. You're just gonna drop it. Right? <laughs> grab the sword. It like slashes the back. top. Can you goes take a down. Like, of falling damage for me. <laughs> can 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 I give advantage because I'm holding onto her hand and then like I'm kind of make tall, me a dexterity like, saving throw five okay. with advantage. Uh, okay. uh, we'll make it. We'll make Rosalind do the dexterity saving throw, and you will give me um, a sleight of hand to see if you can grab her well enough. Okay. 14. 14. Okay. Gotcha. So, and, uh, gotcha. with you got with Anemone's help and your quick reflexes, you land on your feet I'm like in. nothing happened. Um, as she does that because of this, because of the spitting, she's a little woozy. She like falls into anemone and just goes, oh, and she looks up because she is shorter and she's just like, oh, you're very tall. And she walks away. Hold me in your big, strong arms. I will accept my death by <laughs> new student. I am legitimately you on Tuesday nights right now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> um, you are reversed. Clover, you climb to the top of, of the uh, the trees to see up above. And the moon is still shining down on you in a very small crescent. Lighting your path, shining down upon a enormous tree towers high above all of the others and that is the tree of lunar delights you are on your way heading in the right way heading in the right direction can we roll for hotness for tree hotness (laughs) for the tree hotness (laughs) uh yeah when you get there for sure excellent roll a uh, perception check to see which one vibrates the most yes 100 percent. (laughs) yeah i will i will bounce back down Bounce back down the tree, branch to branch. Um, hit the ground probably about the same time that Rosalind does, and just say to everyone, "I can see the tree ahead. We're going the right direction." And I'll just start heading off that way. Model walking as a cat. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Cappy, I'm as you... a model. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'll do my little <laughs> turn walk. on the catwalk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as this as the shenanigan, shenanigans unfold around you, a small white rabbit kind of what like jumps up to you and smells your foot, <laughs> nuzzles you. Oh, Happy? Hi. Yep. Oh, um nice rabbit. Uh can I pick you up? And she puts out her hands or her paws, um, crouches down on the ground and uh, asks the rabbit to climb into her hands. Roll me an animal handling check. With advantage. Uh, Twelve. Say not one, you drop it. 
<laughs> it's just instantly it's soup. Um, <laughs> uh, no, uh, it, it very, very timidly for a moment, kind of, you see its ear flick, its nose uh, scrunch, and then it climbs into your hands. Nice rabbit. I, I wonder why you came here. You roll. You feel as the little rabbit kind of snuffles your nose or your your cheek. You feel Luna, your goddess, just a comforting presence. Oh. Must be know. nice. <laughs> Sorry. It was great. That was great. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mother Moon, am I doing a good job? Am the, I doing the right thing? The rabbit turns and looks at you. Its head tilts one way and then the next. And its ears go up. And it comes forward and it <laughs> nose to nose. You feel peace. You feel oh. safety. A blessing. And you have advantage on your next roll. Excellent. Thank you, Luna. And I take the rabbit and I set it down and watch it hop off. It disappears into the brush. Uh, Delphara, Delph, Delphra. I can do this. Um, is there anything that you're doing? I'm just kind of twirling around the tree going, is this where we take our clothes off, guys? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> She's ready, like, she's got, a, like, a button or two undone, like, ready to go. Um, and then Clover gets down and says, just, just a few, just a little bit further. <laughs> we yeah, dance I'm naked in the moonlight. <laughs> a trail of clothes behind her. <laughs> yeah, there's a sock, another sock yeah. on a tree, like, oh, yeah. I'm ready, guys! <laughs> Let's go. And her little fox is just twirling around her, like... Your fox is twirling, but also goes and picks up one of your socks so that you have it like, for later. Just gathering all the clothes behind yeah. me, making sure I can get dressed after. Like, come on, let's have some modesty. <laughs> You're poor. Modesty is for the weak. <laughs> I can just I can just hear it. Like these are our natural forms. They're beautiful. Yeah, you shouldn't be ashamed. There's literally no guys here. And even if there were, would they be so lucky? Anyways, rip my shirt off, throw it over my head. <laughs> you rip your shirt, shirt off. Hot, you know, I've, it's, I've got... it's a good time. <laughs> yeah. As you venture deeper into the forest, the forest oh, reveals a more darker nature as you continue towards the tree of lunar delights uh slowly transitioning into the outskirts of what will become the shadow lands mm. the air grows colder the trees become a little more gnarled and twisted and the whispers of the forest take a more ominous tone you find yourself standing eventually in a serene clearing bathed in soft silvery glow of moonlight the air is cool and it carries a hint of ethereal magic. In the center of the clearing, a towering ancient tree with gnarled branches stretches towards the heavens, its bark shimmering with gentle luminescence, resembling the pattern of the constellation. Perched upon the tree, roll me a perception check, everyone. As you walk to the tree. 18. 
18. 18. 18. Five. <laughs> Five. 18. Also who's, 18. Who, whose tits are distracting you? Oh. 25. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anemone <laughs> is just blushing. <laughs> Anem- <laughs> Anemone is like rubbing her eyebrows like I did not sign up for this. This was no one but I'm here to fight things. Not okay. All right. Ow. What's this hippie elf shit? (laughs) Ow. (laughs) As Anemone completely misses this, the rest of you see a figure perched on one of the branches Mm. of the moon, of the tree of lunar delight. Uh, You see the Boros, the spectral Riddler. Oh. Appearing as a ghostly figure its form translucent and ever-shifting, as if made of wisps of shadow and moonlight. Its eyes glow with an otherworldly light, hinting of an intelligence that transcends mortal comprehension. Around the clearing, scattered amongst the grass, and leaves are cryptic symbols and riddles etched into the ground. They seem to shimmer and change as if animated by unseen forces. What do you do? We recognize this being. You've heard of him. Can I roll an arcana to see if I recognize the symbols? See, si, you can. Can I... Uh, rack my brains as to what I might know about this spectral Riddler. Mm-hmm. You can roll me. A, you can also roll me a history check. Um, anyone else want to do anything? I also want to try to recall oh. knowledge. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. That 100%. was in that one. But... Can I that support one? But I'm going Cappy? to re-roll that with Lucky. Okay. I got a nat two. You want to help Cappy? Yeah. Oh, I um, I used she had. Advantage. She did have advantage. Yeah. Okay. So I don't, if it was mechanical. Do you want to roll me a nature check uh, me? Our, for our druid? Yes. Um, okay. And Sin, what were you doing? I was rolling to recall knowledge of this Riddler, but I got a two. I think I'm more just like, oh shit, my tits are out and there's someone here. Uh, does that anyone... sexy? It's a sexy ghost form of some someone. Is You're it not sexy? Sure? I he's, don't know. He's very like... imposing in a way. Oh, I kind of was hoping this was a girl's night. I'm like going to swiggle my shirt back on. Uh, I was hoping this was a girl's night and you hear, but you came to my tree. Uh, usually it's just girls here. Uh, didn't know today was was the Ken's night. Um, that's okay. I think it is girl's night. Um... <laughs> I am always here. Oh, did I? Do I know that? I that you know he's what? always here sin didn't know that she's been thinking that this was a, a totally you know she got the the sage tree and the tree of lunar delights confused. completely mixed up he goes yeah yeah no the the tree of lunar delights is a little bit like it's to the it's to the east uh, a bit more oh, it's a little smaller but much more what? polished that makes you. so much more sense i don't even know why would we be going to the tree of lunar delights when we literally have a mission i think i just got excited and it's fair so, enough I, I visit there often yeah, um okay. yes um, Cappy. What's, what did you roll uh 18 and 18 and you were doing uh you were doing the arcana to see mm-hmm. if you could they are what what languages do you speak i speak uh elvish uh draconic and sylvan they are actually riddles that are written in the ground in Sylvan. That's amazing. But they have um they have a sense of magic to them that is connected to both the Moros and the tree. Uh Delphara. Delf Delphra. I can do this. Uh what did you roll? I rolled a whole lot of a 14. A 14. I mean, with a 14, you can feel you have my guidance. Oh, yeah, you do. This is true. Okay, let's go. 
Don't forget you guys have bardic inspiration as well if you want to add that. I have a whole lot of an 18 now. We're good. The tree sways in the wind and for a moment with your powers you feel a connection and you realize that maybe this tree is a little bit more than what it seems. Uh, Rosalind. So, so I wanted to walk up to the tree, mm -hmm. plant my feet firmly on the ground, my hands on the hips and say, you know, this tree looks an awful lot like what we assume is the tree of lunar delays. Maybe instead of being a voyeur, you should let people know ahead of time before they take your clothes, take their clothes off in front of you. And I would like to roll an intimidation check to make him do what I tell him to do. For the, for the, for the Riddler? Okay. Yeah. You can, you can roll intimidation. Okay. <laughs> I'm not like trying to start a fight. I just want him to do what I want. Cause it feels like he's letting people, oh God, I have a plus zero. This is going to go well. Um, I don't think ahead. Of, I don't think things that, oh, 16, that's not bad. I just want him not to bad. do, to be less shitty going forward <laughs> and you, like, more transparent. That's all. You put your hands on your hips and you say that and you see him <clears throat> cover his eyes. Aww. My apologies. That's this is not my okay. role here. And just he waits. Going, going forward, you will let people know if you see them start to take their clothes off because they're at the wrong tree, right? Right. Right. Uh, did you say this isn't my role here? I do. What is your um, role here? You need to answer my riddles to move into the Shadowlands. Guys, I think we should um, put our clothes back on. He's I still holding. You. He's still holding his eyes closed so that I he's look not at Delphra, looking at anyone. My shirt is on backwards on accident, um, because I just threw it on and I go, Delphra, where's Delphra's clothes? The fox comes up and just drops them in front of her. <laughs> cool fox. <laughs> Thanks you. Thank you. Thank you. And I just uh, is anyone else her. doing anything? Um, yeah, I'm interested I'm, I in rolled it. Riddle. I rolled, rolled an eighteen what? history, history. To, um, yeah, to to know more about to see if I knew about the figure. You know that he opens a gateway between here and the shadow world. The there is a barrier here between Salandria oh. and the former lands of Tenbrosa, and his job is to open that doorway for you, should you be worthy enough to pass. Oh, is this, did you say the Moros? The Moros. Is this what Alicia mentioned before? It is, yeah. Yes. What is a Moros? Oh, that's his name. Yeah, it's a name Got and his, it. it's, it's his, it's his name and his like, title all in one got it oh clever 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 well tell me the riddle then i i read it but perhaps you want to be i i don't performative about it and he he, he says to you may i uncover my eyes we're all clothed now, right? Me, I am. Yes. Sorry, I am. <laughs> he very gently takes his hands away. He goes, You may call me limbs. Mistress Rosalind. I'm sorry, Mommy? What? Mommy. Um, he floats down from his spot on the tree and he says, Within the moonlight glade, where secrets are unveiled. The Moros awaits his riddles to be hailed, to open the gateway to the shadow lands embrace, answer his enigmas with skill and grace. 
Three riddles, dear adventurers, you must conquer. In rhymes of brilliance, let your answers conjure. For each riddle solved, a step closer you'll tread to the realm of shadows where mysteries are spread. Each, with each riddle's verse, let your minds ignite, unveil the answers shining through the night. And as the morrow steams your wisdom true, the gateway shall open, revealing the view. So gather your wits, let your thoughts intertwine, for the moros awaits his riddles to define. Unlock the gateway with riddles might, enter the shadowlands guided by moonlight. And he floats over to a set of runes on the ground. They should be child's play to you. And he says, I am the beginning of eternity, the end of time and space, the beginning of every end and the end of every place. What am I? Oh, I think I get this one. He looks you. You are the, You are the letter E. Very clever little kitty. And with that, when you say that, he walks over to you and touches your head. And you have uh, the blessing of lunar wisdom right now. So for That's every amazing, riddle Jennifer. answer correctly. Hmm? Amazing. I know. I was literally about to say, DM, can you put that in the chat so I can read it again? And you're like, I got it. <laughs> so I am the same way. It's okay. Uh, you have, uh, basically on, for whoever answers these riddles correctly, you will, uh, get a one-time ability to have advantage on an ability check or attack roll or saving throw. You can use it when you like. That's amazing. Amazing. Good job, little kitty. So this is my favorite premiere. What'd you say? No, I was just saying, Juniper, this is why you play Tremere's. Because you're <laughs> smart. You're very, very smart. I don't know. Uh, I'll have maybe this I've just ready maybe... to post. Hang on. Maybe you're just what? Oh, I, I've probably heard a riddle something similar to that in the past, maybe. I would imagine. I don't know. That's I'm not still... sure. We're, we're so lucky to have you. <laughs> yeah, I would, it would have been another fucking hour. I know. My husband's like, I want to play Baldur's Gate with you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> he looks towards you and he goes, I am a celestial dancer adorned with silver veils. I illuminate the night, but I hide in the light of day. What am I? And I'll post it for you as well. It's like the moon, right? Like, the moon. Let's you know, the moon is high let, let me read it again. Oh, I'm a mm-hmm. celestial dancer. I'm a silver dancer. I don't even know. Wouldn't that be like a comet or something? I was thinking about a comet, actually. Or oh, the stars, maybe. Oh, did you put oh, this in goodness. Discord? Yes. I did. I posted it for you guys. This is okay. illuminating. Sorry, is I was like, did you want Zoom? It- oh. Rule 20. Um. <laughs> A celestial dancer, maybe the aurora. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, silver veils. Aurora's green and yeah. I was thinking green. about Saturn. True. Saturn like rings. Saturn. Mm-hmm. Is there a Saturn? What I, is a Saturn? Whatever Saturn is, like what is a Saturn? What is a Saturn? <laughs> I think the the answer could be the moon, though that sounds wildly obvious Mm -hmm. otherwise it could be the stars but it seems like it's a singular not a plural oh it could be a comet because the silver veils you know comet comet might be a good guess what happens if we get it wrong do we lose and have to go home and or do we have to kill this guy to get (laughs) 
You may fight me if you wish. How I don't you? I How don't want to fight you. you. So. You saw me with my shirt off. I don't want to fight you. Um <laughs> I I just what happens if we get it wrong or if we're close? You will be cursed. Ugh. That's gross. I'm a he looks at you and I just didn't like even know it. This is my job. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, it's either the moon or the comet. I feel like the moon. I think we're. I think. I think the moon. Yeah, what is silver the moon? Yeah, side. and the dancing. Well, I mean, he does go in circles. He does. He does. Yes. And spins. Is there anyone who is against it being the moon? No. All right no. then. I. Uh, the moon doesn't always hide in the light of day. Is the only thing. Um, I guess that depends on how literal the dungeon master is. I mean, the Riddler is. <laughs> That's a good point, though. Are there... Co- I don't know enough about comets. Yeah, I don't know. They don't illuminate the night, though. No, I mean, they really don't. In yeah. like, They are illuminated themselves, but they don't actually like illuminate anything. The, the only thing that really does it at night is the moon that's the moon. What, yeah. and you know what feels right let's just it's the moon riddle boy <laughs> my shirt's your so final backwards. answer yes 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 yeah. don't yes. play that with me then i'm sitting here bracing for a curse <laughs> he he sighs i'm ready to take my shirt off it's fine <laughs> <laughs> You have disadvantage on your next oh. ability oh. check or saving throw as the curse of stupidity hits you. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that's so what I named it oh. for. Oh. Oh. Wow. My, um, y- you know how in video games it tracks your disposition I will towards somebody? This. Yeah. <laughs> then we'll remember this curse of stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> oh whatever <laughs> i tried sisters i Should tried i continue obviously can Please. we at least know the correct answer at this point so considering we got it wrong the star star oh thinking. well holy hell <laughs> who's our other option and then he walks to one last set of rooms and he says I am a bridge between worlds, shimmering in twilight's embrace. I shapeshift and deceive, transforming from substance to shadow. What am I? And I will post that for you Thank as well you. to look over. <laughs> oh, excuse me, do you take feedback? <laughs> yes, little kitty. What would you like to tell me? I I just wanted to let you know that the last one was a little bit cryptic because, you know, the whole stars thing and silver veils and they don't really dance. And I mean, I know it's not meant to be taken completely literally, but I just think you should take into account that there are certain things that you, you probably need to be a little bit more literal about your riddles. He, he takes yeah. it and he nods. They must get harder. With each riddle, though. That's what My she apologies. said. That is what um, she said, yes. Right. Then right it's away. in a bad especially near the, the tree, as we know. Yeah, wrong tree. <laughs> yeah, wrong tree. Okay. Riddler, I think you'd be more comfortable if you took some clothes off and relaxed. He looks down at himself. He goes, I can't. Oh, well, damn. Okay. I am not. <laughs> he's, he looks at you. He's like, yeah, I, 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 I am. I am mist. I am. I am shadow. I am bits of lunar. Light. Oh, the the riddle, the lunar. Always, he's always the answer naked. to the riddle. Are he's the, the answer to the, the answer riddle. To the riddle? <laughs> <laughs> Did we just trick him into giving us the <laughs> answer? He's not fucking he's the I say the riddle air. He's shimmering in Twilight's embrace and shapeshifts to disease and transforming some su- shadows and substance. I will. I are you going to right? Who is going the to say this? Am I allowed to take the the 
the curse since I've already been cursed. Delphra, what do you say? The Fredler. What is my name, little moon? Rumpelstiltskin. The Moros. The Moros. I'm down with Rumpelstiltskin. <laughs> Just don't take my firstborn, asshole. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Not Rumpel's. No, 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 no. Her final answer is the Boros. <laughs> he, he, he is waiting for uh, Delphra to say it. He's okay. standing in front of you now. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Guys, help me. Take some clothes off. Let's go. It's Take some clothes Moros. off. Everyone can make it. It's the Moros. He immediately Moros. does this. <laughs> I love it. I love it's it. The, I have, I have domed him. It's yeah, fantastic. he immediately does this. Yes. It, it's right. the Moros. He puts his hand on the tree and a doorway begins to open. <gasps> Gotta say, Clover, that was brilliant. You may pass and you may rest here tonight before you do so. Pray. Let's fucking go. You will be safe here. He knows not to fuck with us at this point. Yeah, this is. He has not. Weird. He has not uncovered his eyes. Um, <laughs> He's an ally. Will I will watch and protect you while you sleep. But if you didn't uncover your eyes, how are you watching? Well, I oh, hope you be dressed once we're closed. Once we're closed. Oh, okay. Sorry, Fox. Where are you? Your fox comes running with your shirt that you just whipped away and he and, and drops it at your feet. Thank you. And then and as I you just... go to reach for it, we'll grab it and just kind of roll and tug. Why do you have to be an asshole all the time? All of its tails are <laughs> swishing around. Okay, okay. The dance, we've had enough. Just give me my damn shirt. drops it puts my shirt on and then i kiss him on the nose we can go now all happy again um pray and meditate collect your thoughts for when you enter everything in that realm will begin to work against you even the air i make a quick religion check to know if once we're in the land of shadow her presence will be more prominent is this something that's related to her or is this unrelated to her the nyx you're asking about her as a nyx Mm -hmm. Um, i wasn't trying to spoil it i just you know i've already (laughs) said i've already said her what her name i know i know i know i'm trying to i'm trying to be mysterious uh do do a religion (laughs) check for me okay Thirteen. Thirteen? Yeah. Uh, In places of darkness, she is much stronger. That's great. Luna, don't abandon me, please. (laughs) Are you guys going to set up for the night? You have spent a very long time traveling today, even though it doesn't seem like it because game, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, I think so. Is there anything anyone wants to do? Because we don't have to sleep. Just gonna pray he, to Luna you don't even and... have to he he told you he would keep you safe tonight and you will you do believe him oh okay he goes okay. back to his his uh place in the tree and sits before we go to sleep um i'm gonna climb the tree and like sit next to him on the branch for a moment and just say um excuse me mr morris um what did you mean by even the air will be working against us? Many have passed through these through this gate and few return. It is not a place for the living. You will slowly feel yourself age and not age but you will feel exhaustion creep through you. 
and you will be closer to death the longer you are in there. So be quick, little kitty. Is there anything we can do to protect against that? Pray. Ask for Luna's blessing. And he gives you a little scritch. Oh. I want to be a cat in my next life. Scratch right? The time. Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. Is, so mm. what is everyone doing right now? Praying. As we wind down. Vigorously. Praying. Begging praying. I'll pass for... that info along. Yeah. <clears throat> You're all like meditating and praying and such. Um, Rosalind, I'll, I'll come to each of you and then we will wind down for the night. Sure. Uh, what are you doing? Um, she's, she's praying as well. Um, and just trying to find a comfortable spot. Um, and she touches her freckles and just the, the memory of the will of the way. They feel a little cold. I love that. And just trying to make sure she doesn't lose any of the beautiful things of the day. As you reflect over the will-o'-wisps, you feel a a sense of peace wash over you. And you're pulled into a meditation. You feel Luna's light on you. And you know that you are being watched over. Um, Clover, what do you do? Um... I think I find a little shaft of moonlight to go and sit in. You know, the way cats usually do that with sunlight, but I will find some a a shaft of moonlight um, to moon bathe in um, while essentially praying, but, you know, connecting to Luna um, the way that I would usually do. Is there anything specific that you are asking for? Um, Luna, please help me and my sisters to travel safely through the lounge so that we can help all of the life in the forest so that we can Protect those who need our protection. Do you want to roll me a religion check? Um, 18 on the die. Plus one, 19. 19. You have the ability to create um, a copy of yourself, right? Mm. Mm-hmm. In this little shaft of moonlight in front of you your copy appears by itself and it rubs its face against yours and you Mm -hmm. feel like your prayers have been heard uh delphra what are you doing you running around naked the so, is just like, I can't watch. So I am completely naked, but as I'm naked, I kind of kneel down and my fox just kind of wraps its body around me and its tails just kind of coil around. And I'm just kind of kneeling and in trance. So my eyes turn a complete white as I just kind of stare off into the distance, gathering all my thoughts. As you meditate and you feel every blade of grass and every brush of the wind become one with nature, 
the Moros waves his hand and a silvery shroud appears around you to protect your modesty. It's not my fox is doing that, but that's okay. Yeah, but he's now he's definitely worried about seeing anyone. Not that he ever had any like inclination to be like, hey, make it is great, but now he's worried. Right. Um uh anemone. What are you doing? Anemone has her mithril splint that she's kind of laid out in front of like a patch of moonlight. Um, her great sword that she's strapped on her back in front of her as well. The winged boots that she's she always wears, like she's got it locked down with like two fingers. And then like a short sword and everything. And then she does this ritual that all of you would know about just based on like everything. And she just hums like a deep low hum. And it's like a weird, un like there's no melody to it. And then as she does that, this is her way of meditating. She doesn't say words. She just hums over her weapons. And like the feeling you would get by anyone just like looking over casually it's almost like a her ritual in front of the moonlight to be like okay listen I'm not super magical I'm not really good with talking to animals but these things the stuff that I use to fight with these things this is the stuff that I'm offering this is what I can give this is all the stuff that I have to help protect my community protect my my friends who are running around naked, talking to strange (laughs) individuals and trees, sitting like gargoyles, um, getting hung upside down on on a rope and and cute little rabbits that are just adorable and wonderful and a cat that is just freaking cute, but a little bit too delicate. And so Anemone will never, ever, ever cuddle or scritch. Because she's afraid of breaking her friends. So she's like, okay, this is what I've got. This is here. Here I am. Take it. Bless this. Whatever we're about to do. Please don't let us die. That's just the hum. Like all of this in a hum. Mm -hmm. And then she puts back on because her feet are cold. Because the boots are warm. And she puts her throw it back because that's the first thing to go on then she realizes she needs to put on the split mail she puts back on her the split <laughs> mail and covers it with like her leathers and then she puts back the great sword and then she looks and then she sees the short sword she's like <sighs> takes the short sword as well even though it's not like a reg a special sword sword it's just a just a side thing and she goes okay good now right and then she does jumping jacks <laughs> I love that so much. Oh my god! So she's the most down to earth of all of us. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. You you are our rock. Mm-hmm. Cappy, what are you doing? Um, while everyone is communing, um, I am making a hearty stew. Um. It smells wonderful, redolent of all kinds of of savory spices. And as I finish it, I call everyone over and ask them to eat. And I say, can you clasp hands, please? I'd like to say a prayer for all of us. Or pause, sorry. (laughs) Clover, yeah, you (laughs) miss. Um, Mother Moon. Let our friendship be a bulwark against the darkness as we face what could be the greatest trial of our lives. Let our strength in each other be the light we need to get through it. The clouds move and the moon shines down brightly upon you. And you feel like she's listening guys eat your stew and you feel warm and safe happy's the mom (laughs) yeah i guess i am a mom so and finally as you kind of get ready for bed 
Sin. What are you doing? Where are um, you, gargoyle, crouching? <laughs> um, she's going to eat and she's going to get the warmth. She doesn't really feel like she deserves it, uh, but is like happy for it all the same. Uh, she's not going to go far, but she also trances, but her trance has been not very restful. So, but she knows she needs it. So she's going to kind of keep praying uh hoping more so like don't leave me alone not when we're going there please don't leave me alone with her i'm trying i'm really trying she's so loud you know i'm i didn't i hope this this proves my loyalty hmm. Um, good night. And she's gonna go crisscross applesauce to trance. As you go crisscross applesauce to trance, the moonlight moves away from you. And yeah, in front of so. you, only you see her. Nexaria kneels. And she says to you, as she puts a hand on one of your knees, Do not cast me out, little one. You are blasphemy. You are alone. I am not. She moves her light from you. I don't deserve her light. You deserve the world. And then she's gone. She's going to kind of look real like she's not bathed in light and feel a, a tinge of resentment, but is going to try to quickly banish it and return to her religious fervor. As you banish that bit of resentment, you realize you're not alone. And the Moros stands beside you. Jesus and Christ. <laughs> he doesn't look at you. But he says, Traveling into the Shadowlands will be a very big trial for you. She will not answer you. Doesn't... But this is part of the test. As long as my sin can be forgiven. He gazes at you and uh, give me insight. Thirteen. You see a little bit of almost like pity. He feels, he feels sad for you. But I don't like that. Like, You're not savior, sure why. Savior pity, Riddler. I brought this on myself. I will pay my penance. Please. You better not peep on my sisters. <laughs> he leaves and uh, goes back to his tree branch. And that is where we will call this session. Uh, Gigi, you guys are fantastic. Woo. Um. So, so awesome. I am I see stars. You can catch me online, places like TikTok, Instagram, all that fun stuff here Monday nights DMing the Iowan Adventures, and I play Tuesday nights in the Shadowrun campaign. Um, Katie. Hi, Katie. Uh Dungeon Mistress Katie on TikTok and Instagram and all the things. Um, I play here and I play on Tuesdays on the same channel with a Shadowrun campaign. And I play on Wednesdays in Realm Alternus every other Wednesday. I'm a Power Ranger. So kind of all over the place right now. Hey. Juniper? Um, hi, Juniper, Linen and Spice on TikTok and Blue Sky sometimes. Um, yeah, that's me. <laughs> um, 
uh, Star. Hi, Star. Um, you can find me at Star Mama C on TikTok. And I also have a podcast called Characters of That Story. So you can go to characters of that stories.com. It's real easy. Uh, I'm going to pop it to Scarlet. I'm Scarlet64. I'll be here. I'm on Twitch. I play Out of the Abyss every Sunday and I do D&D and Pathfinder games on Thursday. Uh, oh, and on Wednesday, I am in a in a new campaign over pink. at GM Walk Workshop. What was that? We wear pink. We wear Sorry. pink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I'm also on TikTok, Twitter and all of all that stuff. Uh, GM of Revan. Hello, everybody. My name is GMF Revan. You can call me N. I am on Twitch, YouTube, and incarnate as GMF Revan. I take commissions for map making. And yeah, I will pass it on to who hasn't gone yet. Uh, I believe uh, Meg. Delphara. Mm -hmm. Delphara. Yeah, so I am Mommy Kalik. Uh, you can find me absolutely nowhere. Unless you look up Spitfire X92, uh, which is my old pen name before I had kids. Otherwise, you can <laughs> I'm find looking my... that up. <laughs> right? Uh, otherwise, you can find my partner at Mazrix24 everywhere. Um, I'm a hermit, so I'll just stay here in my dark hole. Uh, that's, that's it, everybody. 